You ever just want to sit back with the big homie, man? Have a nice uh, conversation, man, underneath the uh, nice sunset, you know what I mean? Just get some stuff off your mind, bone, man. Hey, man, free Phineas, man. Free the big homie Phineas, man. Fort Tryon State Park. Hey, man, we coming for you, Phineas, man. We feel you, bro. We popping off, man. Let go. Phineas the Negro. The Negro. Hey, man, uh, who is Phineas the Negro? Who, I mean, you know, let's get to know Phineas a little bit, man. Who is Phineas really? Is he just a dragon? Is it a man in dragon form? <sighs> let's go, man. I'm just talking Phineas the Negro. Ahab to Yohanan, the Hebrew prince, man. Dropped this jewel, man, a little while back, man. Phineas the Negro. Mouth of a dragon, man. We getting into the Brown Drivers Briggs, man. Strong's Concordance, man. Your Honor to Hebrew Prince got the drop. He dropped this back in 2017. That's how long we've been digging on Phineas, man. Brown Driver Briggs, man. We on 432thedrop.com. Just utilize the search engine, man. You never know what you're going to find at 432thedrop. Let's go. Brown Driver Briggs, okay. Now, they're breaking it down all kind of ways, but check out this. Egyptian. Hmm. Who was in Egypt? Yeah. We had to make an exodus out of Egypt, right? Pinahasi the Negro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, when we, when we get into the lexicon, one of the most, you know, well-known lexicons, man, Brown... Driver Briggs, you telling us that when we looking for Phineas, we get Negro? And I keep asking you, my noggin, I keep saying, don't it seem like when we go to sleep, things become mythology and imaginary real fast, and then we wake up and the truth, you know, really looks stranger than fiction all of a sudden? What does this Phineas have to do with the Negro, man? It's all in the etymology of it all man it's all in the lexicon the flow you got to break it all the way down according to louth that's an interesting you know little connection right here man but let's see how this connects to aaron and moses you know let's let's see how it connects to these uh other mentions these notable mentions of israelites named phineas i mean let's just put this together we talking Exodus, we talking Numbers, Samuel. Man, I mean, Strong's Exhaustive, Phineas, apparently from Pei, and a variant of Nakash, mouth of a dragon, because you know we ain't talking snake. I mean, <laughs> we talking Phineas, right? We are talking Phineas, huh? So we talking snake or we talking dragon? Mouth of a dragon, my nigga? So, in the name Phineas, which they try to lie and say he got his name from P.T. Barnum, whose name is also Phineas, but I think all that shit is a big-ass cover-up for something much greater. I'm talking Phineas the Negro. Con. Yeah, man. Mouth of a dragon. Phineas. The name of three Israelites. So, we're going to dig on a few other uh, ancestors that bore this particular title, Mouth of a Dragon. First, you know, let's check out Behind the Name. Now, in BehindTheName.com, all right, <laughs> you know, we just we just surfing away. Biblical name, all right, Phineas. Of course, you know the TV show Phineas and Ferb, a lot of drop, right? So, okay, okay. Probably means Nubian. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait a minute. Hold up, man. We're going to get to the definition of, of MAGA in a minute, too, man, for the dismount. Make America great again. Make America great again. You telling me, you telling me, you telling us that Phineas is connected with the Negro? And you telling us that Phineas means Nubian, my nigga? My nigga? <laughs> From the Egyptian name Panhasi. 
though some believe it means serpent's mouth in Hebrew. Whoa! So when you're talking Egypt, right, it's connecting you to this Nubian or this Negro, right? <laughs> and then when you're talking Hebrew, it connects you to the dragon, my nugget. Right to the dragon's mouth, my nugget. Now let's keep going. In the Old Testament, Phineas is the grandson of Aaron. Come on, man. You saying that he got his name from P.T. Barnum when the grandson of the priest Aaron is named Phineas? Who kills an Israelite? He is into because he is intimate with the Midianite woman. So, you know, this this uh, you know, go back to that story. You know what I mean? This guy was breaking the code. He was out of code. And the Most High was plaguing the people because this particular individual was out of code. So Phineas had to do something about it, thus stopping a plague sent by Hawa. So Phineas stopped the plague by, you know, getting this guy out of here that was out of the code, who was pissing off the Creator. All right? Also in the Bible, this is the son of Eli, killed in battle with the Philistines. So you got the son of Eli... And then you also got the grandson of Aaron that are all connected with this Phineas man. Let's check out some of this concordance drop. All right. So again, we got Exodus 625 and Eleazar, Aaron's son, took him one of the daughters of Patu Patiel to wife and she bore him Phineas. Eleazar's son is Phineas. Aaron's grandson. Aaron got the keys, right? I mean, this is priest, priest, right? So, yeah, this is a, a serious priest named Phineas, right? So, these are the heads of the fathers of the Levites. Hmm. Because that was really interesting the way they kind of, you know, for whatever reason, when we looked at Phineas, we get Negro, right? And then they just throw this, you know, <laughs> they just throw this on top. So we're connecting it with Aaron. Yeah, of course, it's connected with Moshe. If it's Aaron's grandson, you know what I mean, then, well, that's his uncle, man. You know what I mean? Or great uncle, whatever you want to call it. So, all right, all right, that's one Phineas. Well, the same Phineas here, Numbers uh, 25, 7, when Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose up from among the congregation, and he took a javelin in his hand, and that's when he thrust it through this uh, plague, you know what I mean, that was plaguing, plaguing the city, making Hawaii plague the children. So he saved the day. Numbers 25, 11, Phineas, the son of Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, have turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, while he was zealous, zealous for my sake among them, that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealousy. So the children of Israel had a lot of thanking to do for Phineas, you know, to, to Phineas for stepping up. Numbers 31, and Mo, Moshe sent them to the war and thousand, a thousand of every tribe, them and Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the priest, to the war. So he was going to war, my naga, with the holy instruments and trumpets to blow in his hand. Wah, wah. I mean, you can go on, you can go on in your investigation, but we know this is serious business with Phineas. And again, man, we're just talking about Phineas, the Negro, my naga, or, you know, Phineas, <laughs> the word, the Nubian, huh? Let's go. Love to the family victory always who said, man, I read Nehemiah 2, and now I can see that he's riding a dragon. Well, let's see, man, Nehemiah 2.13, and I went out by night by the valley gate and even towards the dragon's well, right? So we got a dragon's well into the dung gate and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed by fire, my nugget. Then I went on to the fountain gate into the king's pool, king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. What beast was under Nehemiah, man? Then I went up in the night in the valley. I went up. I went up in the night in the valley and viewed the wall, and I turned back and entered by the valley gate, so I and so returned. So he went up in the night, man, and he saw this whole situation consumed with fire. Make America great again, right? Make America great again. MAGA, MAGA, MAGA. What's a MAGA?
The definition of a maga is a member of the priestly priestly caste among the Saurus of India. What kind of Saurus? The maga Saurus? We talking dragons of a priestly caste. What's a maga? Make America great again? They try to say, man. We just talking the maga Saurus, man. Stay up. Suit up. Choose up.